Hello, hello. How are you? Hi. Hi. Hi, Luis. Hi, Veronica. Alejandro, Mr. Mercado Sanchez. Welcome. And William. Hi, William. Always ready, right? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Very good. Congratulations. Hi. Good time. Yes. Hi. Hi, Alejandro. Veronica. Hi. It's nice that you have your headphone, right? This is good. So you aisle the sound, right? Uh, the same to Luis. It's, it aisle the sound, right? I like the sonido, right? So you can listen, right? And when some people are in the in the class, in I mean in, in the room, you don't listen, right? Cuando otros están en el en el en el cuarto, you, you don't listen, right? For example, my dog is in front of me and, and you don't listen, my dog, right? <laughs> say. <laughs> okay. Now let's just start. Let's just start with the class, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a second. I, I have a lot of screens open, so I will close them. Yes, hold on a second. Okay, I have the manual here and the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, ready now. I'm ready. Sorry for the inconvenience. And now let's begin. Okay, English for Work program, right? Basic module one. This is class number nine. Class number nine. And vocabulary practice, daily routines. We are going to learn what do you do every day, right? What do you do every day? So let's just start, right? What is the objective? Veronica, can you read the objective for tonight, please? I will be able to. Ask partner question about some someone else's? someone else's mm -hmm. someone else's daily routine and say why they don't 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 what do they what they do and what they don't right mm -hmm. what they do what they don't don't that's it right okay So just give me a second, please. Here, right? Now, to begin, we're going to practice some vocabulary, right? Some vocabulary. First, in in the presentation and later in, in, a, in a book, right? So you can practice. Now, days of the week, listen. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now repeat after me, please. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday. Good. Only Luis, please, can you repeat? Okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's correct, right? Thank you. Veronica? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, sorry, Tuesday, Tuesday, uh -huh. when, uh, Wednesday, 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 uh -huh. Tuesday, Friday. Wait, wait, this is like thank you, thank you, thank sa, you, sa, sa, sapo, sa, sa, sapo. 
Uh -huh, yes. Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. Good. William, please. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. Friday. Sorry. Thursday. Thursday. Mm -hmm. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Okie dokie. Thank you. Now, let's go to the next part. The months of the year, right? Months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. January. January. February. February. March. March. April. April. May. May. June. July. August. September. October. November. December. Good. Now, uh, I'm going to ask some students to repeat, please. Grecia, only you. Only you. Repeat, Grecia. January, February, March. Wait, February? February. Okay, February. Good. March, April. May. 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 June. June. July. August. July. July. <laughs> Perdón. July. No, no, no. Relax, Grecia. We are learning. We are learning. July. Estamos aprendiendo, así que tranquilita. Yeah. Okay. July. August. September. October. November. December. Okie dokie, only Alejandro. Only you. January, February, Feb February. February, February. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okie dokie, Claudia, please. January, um, February, February, March, February, 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 March, April, May, June, mm -hmm. July, August, 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 September. October. October. Oh, sí. mm -hmm. Yes, October. October. November. December. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right? Good. Now, um, before the Romans, eh, we used to have 10 months, right? Antes de los Romanos, solíamos tener 10 meses, right? 10 meses, okay? So, we used to have March, April, only that, right? And uh, so because we have 10, right? Como ten, eramos, eran 10 meses. So we say September, it's 7. October is 8. November is 9. And December is 10, right? Yes? But you say, no, pero como que September is 7? September is 9, right? <laughs> No, but, but before they were only 10 months. 
eso era antes que existieran 10 meses. Ahora ya le subieron a dos meses, ¿ya? ¿Yes? Y le bajaron a los días. And um, in, in the Roman Empire, Empire, right? Empire, sorry, Empire. En el Imperio Romano eh, wow. había un emperador que se llamaba Julio César. Entonces, decidió ponerle a, a uno de los meses su nombre, entonces Julio, Julio César. Cuando murió Julio César vino otro emperador que se llamaba César Augusto. Y vino este y dijo, bueno, si el otro le puso un nombre al, al año, yo también quiero ser famoso, quiero ser eterno. Entonces le puso a un mes eh, Augusto, César Augusto, ¿no? Augusto, August, ¿no? August. This is the story of the month, right? Esa es la historia de los meses. Ok, let's continue. Now we practice the number, right? Listen, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now repeat after me, please. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, now please. Only. Only. Um, no, let me see. Uh, we're, we're, not, we're not too many today, right? Only Alejandro, please repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, wait. Nine. 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 Repeat. nine. With N, N, N. Nine. Nine. Okay. Ten. Ten. Okay, very good. Now, I will take the attendance. Sorry, before we continue, antes de seguir, antes que otra cosa pase, okay, the, the attendance, right? Eh, Alejandra? Cindy? Claudia? Present. Thank you. Diana está de oyente. Yes. Grecia? Present. Karen? Present. Carla. Carla. Beatriz. Lucía está oyentes. Let me see. Uh, ah, no, 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 no va a estar ausente, sorry. Ok. Good. Uh, Luis? Present. Thank you. Veronica? Present, teacher. Alejandro? Present. Nuria? Nuria? Paola? William? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Wilson? Wilson? What happened with Wilson? El segundo día que no tenemos oh, a Wilson. Ah, hello, Wilson. No, teacher. Soy William. Este, oh. Wilson escribió en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp que 
Y va a estar de oyente. Ok, let me see. <coughs> Wilson, dice, buenas noches, teacher. Estaré como oyente y prometo que el día de mañana les llevaré ese mito a todos. Y Jocotes, Corona, ok. okay. Estoy en mi trabajo. <risa> y café. Okay. Y café. <risa> y coffee. Ok, muy bien. Solo que no lo veo conectado. Es decir, vamos a ver. Sí, no está conectado. Espero que conecte otro ratito. Ok, good. Continue, right? Again. Repeat after me. Again. One, two, three, four. Don't say four. It's four. Five. Don't say five. It's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Right. Very good. Only Claudia? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Six. Sorry. Five. 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 Look, at Look at my lips. Wait a minute. I will show you. Uh, this is B. B. Five. Five. Okay, continue. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 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 Okay, okay. thank you. William? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okie dokie. Now let's continue practicing. Listen, please. Listen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, calcetín. Ah, no, no, calcetín. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay. 20. 20. Good. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. 11. 12. With F, 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 12. 13. 14. 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, now please only only Alejandro. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14. 13. Wait, wait, wait. 13. Hola. 13. 13. 15. 16. 15. 15, uh -huh. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 or 20 if you want to say, right? Uh-huh. Grecia? Only you. Come on, Grecia. You 11, uh, 12, 12. No. With F, uh-huh, 12. 12, mm -hmm. 15, 13, 13. 13, 13, 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 18, 
Nineteen. 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 Eh, twelve. No. Uh -uh. Six. Twenty. Twenty. Or you can say twenty. 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 Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, Veronica. Eleven. Eleven. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Twelve. Fifteen. No, no, get okay. twelve. Twelve. With twelve. F. 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 Twelve. 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 Thirteen. Fourteen. Thir no, okay. Thirteen. 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 Mm -hmm. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Now let's go to the next. Listen, please, listen. 21, 22, 23, 24, etc. Et 30. Listen, it's not 13, it's 30. 40. 50. 60. 70. 80. 90, 100, good, now repeat after me, repeat after me, 21, 22, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100. Or if you want to say 200, 300, et cetera, et cetera. 100, 200, 300, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, very good. Now, uh, who's going to help me? Luis, please, can you repeat all of this? Sorry? 21, 22, oh, et cetera. Okay. 21, 22, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, thank you very much, right? Uh, Karen, please, only you. All the numbers? No, 21. 20... Uh, 21. 21, 22, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. My goodness. Very good. Fast and good, right? Good. So now we have days of the week, month of the year, and numbers. These are cardinal numbers, right? Cardinal numbers. Good. Now let's practice the time. What time is it? Look, one is one o'clock. Is one o six. The zero here, right, is pronounced like an o. Here, the zero. Do you don't say is one zero six zero six? No, no, it's not zero six. It's o six. Or you can say it's six after one. Okay, now it's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. Or is half 
past one, right? One thirty is la una y treinta, right? One thirty. And is half, la mitad, half past one. Ha pasado la mitad de la una, no? Half, son treinta minutos, half past one, right? Half past one. Good, is one forty? Or is twenty to two? Two, two, right? Two, two. Good. And is one forty-five or is a quarter? It's a quarter to two. It's a quarter to two, right? Okay. Now, any question? Now we're going to practice. But are you sure you don't have questions? Good. Now we're going to practice with other time, right? Look. <clears throat> Let me see. Um, Alejandra? No, right? Cindy? No. My goodness, I'm afraid. Estoy preocupado, right? One, two, three, four, five. Seven students, right? Nos faltan siete estudiantes. Okay. Uh, so, what time is it? Claudia, what time is it? Here in the, in the chart, right? In cuadrito. It is two o'clock. It's two o'clock. Very good. Thank you. It's two o'clock. Thank you very much. Good. Next one. What time is it? Um, Grecia, what time is it? Look. What time is it? Uh, it's two. Uh, night. It's two. Oh, night. Oh, night. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Now, ah, sorry. What time is it? Karen, mm. what time is it? It's two. It's, it's two ten. It's two ten, correct. It's two ten, right? Or if you want to say, if you want to say, it's Is ten after two, right? Is ten after two. Like this, you say it's six. No, six. No, it's nine. Is nine after. Two. Okay? Two forms to say. Very good. Let's continue. Slowly but good. Slowly but good, right? Now, what time is it? Mm. 
What time is it? Um, Karen already, right? Uh, Luis, please. What time is it? It's a quarter after two. Is you're going to say, right? It's two. It's a quarter. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> it's a quarter after two. After two. Or if you want to say it's two. It's two. Fifteen, right? Fifteen. Fifteen. It's 2.15, right? Very good. Nice. Let's go to the next one. So what time is it? Mm, Veronica? It's 2. It's 2. There's 2. 30. 30. It's to 30. Or? It's. I pass one. It's half. La mitad, half, right? Half pass. Half pass. Pass one, right? Two. It's, ah, sorry. <clears throat> yes, it's half past two. Yes. It's half past two. That's correct. Very good. Now next. What time is it, Alejandro? It's two. It's two. Fifty-five. Thirty-five, right? 35. 35. It's 2.35. Correct. Or it's... X 25. Ah. Uh -huh. 2, 3. It's 25. Congratulations, Alejandro. 2, 3, right? It's 25 to 3. Okay. Now, let's go to the next one. After Alejandro, we have uh, Nuria. Hi, Nuria. Welcome. What time is it, Nuria? Um, it's 2... It's two. Forty-five. Forty. Forty-five. Five. Or it's, it's a quarter to four. No. Uh, to three. To three. Ah, uh, to three. It's a quarter to three. Thank you very much. And the last one, right? After Nuria, we have William, right? William? Okay. It's 2.50. It's 2.50. Or it's ten to three to three, right? Mm -hmm. Ten to three. Okay. Class, do you understand? Do you know how to set the time? For example, what time is it? What time is it?
It's eight thirty-six. It's eight thirty-six p.m. Correct. Okie dokie. Very good. Now let's continue. Good. Now we practice this, right? Daily routines at home. Get get up, get dressed, take a shower, brush my teeth, comb my hair, shave, put on makeup, eat breakfast, come home, make dinner. Study, watch TV, and go to bed, right? Okay, now, repeat after me. Ready? Repeat after me. Get up. Get dressed. Take a shower. Brush my teeth. Comb my hair. Shave. Put on makeup. Eat breakfast. Come home. Make dinner. Study. Watch TV. Go to bed. Okay. William, please, can you read them again for the class? Read, please. Please. Okay. Get up, get dressed, take a shower, brush my teeth, comb my hair, shave, put on makeup, eat breakfast, come home, make dinner, study, watch TV, go to bed. Okay, thank you very much. Give me a second, somebody's knocking on my door. Alguien toca, regaleme un segundito. Give me a second. Sorry for the interruption. Here I am again. Now, uh, I need you to tell me in Spanish. Karen, help me. Karen and Nuri are going to help me, right? Yes, ready? Get up. How do you say get up in Spanish? Eh, levantarse. Levantarse, despertarse, right? Oh, Get up, right? And then, okay, now get dressed. Eh, vestirse. Yes. Take a shower. Tomar un baño. Yes. Brush my teeth. Cepillarse los dientes. Comb my hair. Peinarme el cabello. Shave. Rasurarme. Put on makeup. Maquillarse. Eat breakfast. Tomar el desayuno. Come home. Eh, ir a casa. 
Make dinner. Hacer la cena. Study. Estudiar. Watch TV. Ver la televisión. Go to bed. Ir a dormir. Yes. Thank you very much, right? Thank you very much. Now, we're going to make a, a daily routine, right? A daily routine. What do you do every day, for example? And we're going to use the time. Right? So, what time... What time uh, Claudia, right? What time do you get up? What time oh. do you get up? No, only get up. What time? No le comprendo. What time tic tac uh, tic tac you get up? La hora en que me levanto. Yes. What time? De lo que acabamos de ver. Yes. It is. It. Uh -huh. It's. Five. Five. Or. Or five. Five or five. Okay. So, Claudia gets up at 5.05. .05. Understand? Good. William, what time do you get dressed? I dress. I, I get, get dressed. Mm -hmm. I get dressed at 5.00. 30. 5.30. So, William gets dressed at 5.30, right? William gets dressed at 5.30. Right? Good. Now, who's next? Grecia, please. What time do you take a shower? Um... It is six. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Mm. Grecia takes a shower. Grecia takes a shower at six o'clock. Grecia takes a shower at six o'clock. Very good. Karen, please brush my teeth. Eve. Eh, six. Okay. All right. So, Karen brushes her, no my, her teeth at six o'clock, right? Good. Three times at the day. I imagine. But in the morning, six. Six o'clock, right? Six o'clock, good. And Luis, please, what time do you comb your hair? If you. <laughs> oh, yes, I know you do. And in the morning, in the morning. I mean, every you, during the day, but oh, is it necessary? <laughs> I comb my hair at Around six twenty. Six twenty. Let's say this. So Luis comes his hair. No my hair. His hair. Uh at six twenty. Okay. Luis comes. His hair at six twenty, right? Good. What time do you shave? Let me see, Alejandro. 
What time do you shave? Um, imagine, right? I, I imagine you don't shave every day, right? No, me imagino que no se rasura todos los días, but just imagine. Um, seven, one, seven. Sorry, seven? Seven, oh, seven. Seven, oh, seven. What time does Alejandro shave? He shaves at seven, oh, seven. Suena como agente secreto esto, Alejandro. Pero okay. That's okay. Ahí, démoslo ahí. Okay. Good. Nuria, what time do you put on makeup? 10 30. 10 right? Nuria puts on makeup at 10 30, right? Okay. Good. Um, Who's next? William. Yes, William. What time do you eat breakfast? I I eat breakfast at six o'clock. Six o'clock. So William eats okay. breakfast at six o'clock a.m. Of course, right? Sure. Yes. En la consulta, este, ahí solo dice 6, ¿verdad? Pero eh, no es necesario denotar que es AM o PM. Mm, well, in this case, we're practicing just the time, right? Ahorita vamos a pasos. <laughs> ah, okay. Vamos a poner AM, PM, ajá. En otra expresión, okay, right? Please. There are more, there are more. Hay un poquito más ahí, yes. Hay un poquito más ahí. Pero ahorita, pues, vamos comenzando, vamos a irnos por lo... Lo más básico, yes? Yes, okay. Good. Now, come home. What time do you come home, eh, Claudia? One oh what? one one okay one. in this case we can say PM but let's say one right one so Claudia comes home at one o'clock right good make dinner Grecia Make dinner es preparar la cena, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. no. yes, yes, no. yes. Uh, it's a, a seven. Seven. Seven, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, okay. Good. Study. Study, Karen. English in this case, right? English, English. <laughs> Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Okay. That's it, right? So Karen is studying at eight o'clock. Watch TV. Luis. Mm. I watch TV at seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. O'clock. Just to say one time, right? Seven o'clock or seven a.m. Uh -huh. Or seven at night. Mm -hmm. But, ooh, see? Ah, uh -huh, yes. But for the moment, we say this, seven, right? And finally, Veronica, what time do you go to bed? What Eleven. time? Eleven p.m. Eleven PM, right? Very late. 
Yes, like the teacher. <laughs> yes, I go to bed to 11 too, yes. So, uh, Veronica goes to bed at 11, right? Okay, good. Now, uh, for petition, right? Uh, we are going to say a.m. and p.m., but listen. A.m. is ante meridian, ante del mediodía, right? And p.m. is past meridian, right? Very good. Vamos a aceptar la sugerencia para que haya de un solo, de un solo practicamos ya. <laughs> a.m. p.m. Now, what are you going to do, class? I need, and this is going to be individual, individual, right? Not in groups, individual, in this moment right now. You are going to copy what time do you do this? Of course. Claro que vamos a, a omitir, en el caso de las chicas, shave, right? Y en el caso de los chicos, put on makeup. <laughs> okay? Esta la vamos a omitir. Las demás sí, pues, pueden poner ahí la hora. Okay? So you're going to copy a time. You see? So only copy this. Get up. For example, right? Get up. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Get up 5 a.m., right? Only that. 5 a.m., 5.06, uh, 7 a.m., etc., etc., right? But I repeat, this is personal. Me van a copiar a qué horas lo hacen ustedes en la vida real, right? real life, okay? Let's do it, babies. Vamos a dedicar unos tres minutos a esto. Do you understand what are you going to do? ¿Entendemos lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Me van a poner a, a yes. qué horas. Hacen todas estas actividades. Ok. Good. Do it. En un papelito o en un cuaderno. Yes, if you want.
One more minute, one more minute. Continue, continue. Okay, ready? Now we're going to make sentences in the simple present, right? For example. Number one, you say, I get up at, at, Five, oh, no, five ten, for example. Five ten a.m. Okay. I get dressed at etc. etc. Right? Understand? Good. One volunteer, please. One volunteer. One volunteer, un voluntario nada más. Just one, please. Yo, teacher. Okay. Me. Uh, William, right? First William. Uh -huh. Go ahead, William. Okay. Todas, teacher, o unas cuantas. Everything. Ah, except puro okay. makeup. <laughs> puro makeup, no. Okay. Uh, I get up at 5 a.m. I get dressed at 5 30 a.m. I take a shower at 5.05 a.m. I brush my teeth at 5.15 a.m. I comb my hair at 5.20 a.m. I shave at 5.25 a.m. I eat breakfast at 6 a.m. I come home at 5.45 p.m. I make dinner at 7 p.m. I study at 8 p.m. I watch TV at 6.30 p.m. I go to bed at 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Now, eh... Who was the next? The other volunteer, ¿quién es el otro voluntario? Verónica, no. Who was it? Yes. Me levanto la... Ah, Verónica, yes. That was you? Yes? Yes. Usted era, okay, good. Now, please, listen to Verónica. Uh, repeat, please. I get up. Get Luego. up. I get sí. dressed. Get, get. Get, get. Get dressed. I get up. Después de decir I get up. Okay, I will copy. Don't worry, I will copy. Yes. I get up at what time in your case, Veronica? Okay, okay. Five? Five o'clock. A.M., right? Yes. Good. Now. I get up at three a.m. Mm -hmm. oh. Three. I get up dressed three. I, I get dressed. I get dressed three three a.m. I take a shower three ten a.m. I brush my teeth 
three on five a.m. At I three at 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 three at three. Uh. At three or five. Mm -hmm. I comb my hair at three forty. I put I put in my cap at seven twenty. I eat breakfast seven at seven at seven at seven fourteen. Okay. I come home at five p.m. I make a dinner. I eat five at five ten. I study at 8 p.m. I watch TV at 5, at 7 p.m. I go to bed 11, at 11 p.m. At 11 p.m. Okay. Very good. Now, do you understand this activity? So, it's your daily routine, right? Your daily routine. Now, let's continue practice. Let's continue practice. Other activities that you can do, right? You exercise, for example, right? And then you say, I exercise at 3 p.m., for example, right? Listen to music. I listen to music at 9 p.m. Play football, go out for dinner, go dancing, take a nap, read, check media, go to the movies, and visit friends, right? Now, let's practice, please. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Exercise. Listen to music. Play football. Go out for dinner. Go dancing. Take a nap. Read. Check media. Go to the movies. Visit friends. Okay. Very good. Now, how do you say in Spanish? Luis, help me, please. Exercise. Ejercitarse. Listen to music. Escuchar música. Play football. Jugar fútbol. Go out for dinner. Eh, salir a comer. Mm -hmm. A cenar. Well, in this case, at night is cenar, right? Dinner. Mm -hmm. Go dancing. Ir a bailar. Take a nap. Tomar una fiesta. No, fiesta no. Fiesta. Es padre, ¿verdad? Okay, Descanse. relax, Luis, Luis, relax. Tomorrow is Friday, I know, but relax, relax, please. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, siesta. Siesta. Uh -huh, with S, siesta. Ah, okay. Read. Leer. Check media. Eh, revisar las redes. Ajá, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> Go to the movies. Ir al cine. Visit oh. friends. Visitar a amigos. Yes, a la cherada, los compadres, right? Busy friends. Yeah. <laughs> okay, in English you say fella, fella, body, right? How do you say chero in, in, in English, right? You say fella, my fellas. Hey, fella. Or body. Hey, body. Or dude. Hey, dude. What's up, dude? What's up, buddy? Hey, fella. And also this fox. 
los cheros, los amigos, Red Fox. Uh, if you see the cartoons, for example, the Bugs Bunny, the, the Pato Lucas, Porky, etc. They say, that, 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 that's all, folks. E, 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 eso es todo, amiguitos. <laughs> that's all, folks. So those are the words we use to describe your friends, your cheros, your compadre, right? Okay, good. And here we have some household chores routine, right? Wash the dishes, clean the house, do the laundry, take out the garbage, go shopping, dust, sweep, mop. Good. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Wash the dishes. Clean the house. Do the laundry. Take out the garbage. Go shopping. Dust. Sweep, mop, ¿Eh? mop, Ministerio de Obras Públicas, no, doodly, mop is trapear, yes, mop, good, now, in Spanish, please, Grecia, help me, Grecia, wash the dishes, Grecia, how do you say wash the dishes in Spanish? Es así, no. No, no. Lavar Me los, puedo... Lavar los trastes. Wash lavar los trastes. Clean the house. Eh, clean the house. Limpiar la casa. Do the laundry. No lavar, sé. Lavar la ropa. Do the laundry. Lavar la ropa. Take out the garbage. Sacar. No me acuerdo. Sacar. La, la basura. Yes. Go shopping. Se compra. Dust. Limpiar el. El polvo. Dust. El polvo. Sweep. Barrer. Yes. Mop. Eh, trapear. Yes, very good. Excelentoso, Grecia. Yes. Good. And then you say, for example, uh, 7 a.m. I wash the dishes. At uh, 10 o'clock, I 10 a.m. I clean the house. Etc. Etc. Right? So, so household chores. Good. And uh, again, we're going to practice the frequency adverb, right? From yesterday, excuse me. Good. Always. Usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never, right? And you say, I always get up at six o'clock. I usually eat breakfast at seven o'clock. I often listen to music. I sometimes clean the house. I rarely make dinner. I never listen to Bad Bunny. <laughs> okay. I never listen to Bad Bunny. So frequency ever, right? Frequency ever. Okay. Let me see if I can do something here. Vamos a hacer algo aquí. Let me see. Give me a second, give me a second. Vamos. Vamos a inventar aquí. Yes. Ok. And I will copy the 
the frequency error, yes. Here, right? Okay. Good. Now you say, for example, right? Here, daily routines, look. Uh -huh. Yes, that's it, right? Good. I always get up at five o'clock, for example, right? I usually get dressed at seven o'clock. You see? Good. So I need some examples, please. Can you help me, Luis? Okay. De todos? No, no, no. Only one or two. Okay. I usually get up at 5 a.m. Okay. Listen. Luis usually gets up at 5 a.m. Continue, Luis. I... Of I usually get dressed at 5.30 a.m. Good. Luis usually gets dressed at 5.30 a.m. Thank you very much. Veronica, give me two examples. I put a makeup always. I always say I always, I always put on makeup. I always put on makeup at seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. Very good. Now, uh, other example, please, Veronica. I always study at eight. Eight o'clock. PM, right? Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now let's go to the next one. I'm inventing right now. You know, estamos inventando aquí. <laughs> okay. Good. Now, uh, Alejandro, please, can you give me one example? I always exercise in the in, at seven o'clock. I sometimes exercise at night, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? One example, Alejandro. I always listen to music. Mm -hmm. What time? Um, uh, ten or ten a.m. A.M. No, P.M. No, no. 10 P.M. We're in class. <laughs> no, no, no. 10 P.M. Right. Class. I know. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yes. Okay. Very good. That's it. Right. Now, um, Karen, another two examples, please. Two examples, Karen. Uh, de las que están ahí en la tablita. Ah, yeah, yes. Uh, play uh, football, read, check media, visit friends. I always check media at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Noon, at noon. Mm -hmm. What else? At noon. Uh -huh. uh, Sometimes I I sometimes go to the movies. Okay, very good. Nuria, to, oh no, no, continue. Excuse me, excuse me, continue, continue. At seven o'clock p.m. Okay, very good. Thank you. Nuria, two examples, please. Uh, I usually. I usually. I usually go dancing 10. At 10. <laughs> At 10. Okay, one more, please. Mm. At 10. At 10. 
Good. Another example, please. Another example. Another example. Nuria. The microphone, Nuria. Uh -huh, okay. No, Tengo okay. Que... You say, I usually go out for dinner. I sometimes uh -huh. eh, listen to music. I never read, etc., etc., right? I never visit friends. Okay, good. I never visit friends. That's it, right? Okay, class. Do you understand? Thank you, Nuria. Thank you very much. Now, these are the use of frequency other, right? More examples. I always wash the dishes. She usually cleans the house. He often does the laundry. They sometimes take out the garbage. We rarely go shopping. You never dust. Other time expression. I exercise every day. You listen to music once a day. I play football twice a week. She goes out for dinner three times a month. She goes dancing on Saturdays. She takes a nap, a nap sorry, once a day. My sister reads once a month. I go to the movies every Sunday. I visit friends every weekend. Okay? Good. And that's it, right? This is the example. Now, any question? In this case, no. Uh, we don't mention the the time. Uh, not necessary. For example, uh, if you say I play football twice a week uh, at three o'clock, for example, you can say that two times in the week you play football at three o'clock, for example. But it's not common. It's not common. At least you give explanation. For example, I play football in in the park with my friends uh, at two o'clock twice a week, for example, right? So you explain, you give many explanations. Usted va explicando, usted va dando detalles de cómo juega fútbol, dónde juega, qué hora juega, cuántas veces juega, etcétera, etcétera. Right? You can extend. Usted se puede extender. But I repeat, this is another topic, right? Eso sea, sería otro tema. ¿eh? Ir acumulando toda la información ahí, ¿ok? Pero si solo quiere decir, ah, yo, la frecuencia, right? Solo para decir la frecuencia, dice, dos veces a la semana, los sábados, una vez al mes, cada domingo, cada fin de semana, ¿ok? Solo para explicar la frecuencia. De ahí, si quiere explicar la hora, en dónde, con quién, eh, con qué ropa, <ríe> etcétera, etcétera, no problem. Puede hacerlo, pero ya, ya sería otro, otro tema, right? Okay. Any other question? Thank gonna... you. You're welcome. Okay, good. Now we're going to practice with a resource, with a book, right? Este día estoy un poco triste porque faltan muchos. Okay, now we're going to practice. Let me show you. Okay, let's practice the number, right?
Listen, please. Page 6, Exercise 11, Personal Information. Part A, Listen and Practice. Zero, O, One, Two, Three, Four, Five, Six, Seven, Eight, Nine, Ten. Good. Everybody, again. Zero. O. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Now, let me see. Alejandro, please. What's your telephone number, Alejandro? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, invent, invent. Uh, seven. Zero. Zero, or you can say O, 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 right? mm -hmm. uh, eight, five, nine, 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 O, right? Yes. One O. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Karen, what's your telephone number? Two. Two. Nine. One. Five. Four. Nine. Nine. Okay, thank you very much. Luis, what's your telephone number? Uh, six one eight seven eight two three six. Thank you very much. Claudia, what's your telephone number? Seven six. Seven six three two two three five three five. You can invent, don't worry, invent. Eight nine eight nine. One more, please. Uno más, one more. Four. Four. Okay. Thank you very much. Good. Now. Let's erase this. Invent this, right? Invent. Uh, William was the number of your Dewey. Well, um... Zero seven. Oh, seven. Oh, seven. Five, three. Five, three. Oh, oh. Seven five oh four four in this case hyphen right hyphen four oh. well, this will be all hyphen 
hyphen, guión, hyphen, hyphen. Ok. Good, that's it. That, that's it. Ok, now let me see. Anybody else? Um, solo, teacher, solo creo que le dije un cero de más ahí. Uh, don't worry, it's... <laughs> It's just to practice, right? Solo es para practicar. Tranquilo, no se preocupe. Okay, then let me see. Um, Luis, please. What's the number of your duet, Luis? Zeros, uh, oh, 06. Oh, 06. 39. And seven four seven four oh oh two two hyphen zero zero yes. oh. or oh no you can say zero no problem but it's more common it's more common people say oh right all right huh? okay in mathematics no right but uh, in telephone numbers or documents, people say, oh, 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 right. Very good. Now let's check it out this information, right? Let's check it out this information. Uh, who's going to help me? Uh, Karen, please. Can you read the information of Alison Parker, please? What is her work okay. phone number? What is her work phone number? Alison Parker, work phone. 402 hyphen five 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 hyphen two three oh one. Continue. Cell phone. Uh -huh. Six four six hyphen four a six hyphen one o oh, o oh, four. Email address. Address. Mm -hmm. A. Parker. Say like Parker. A Parker. Parker. Parker one at cop dot org. Okay, thank you very much, right? Alejandro, please read the information about Kenji Mori. Okay. Home phone. Two, one, two, nine, two, four, one, seven, eight, four. Cell phone. Six, four, three, five, 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 two, two, eight, five. Email address. Uh, Kenji Mori. Zero. No, o. Nine. O, o nine. O, o nine. At Cambridge.org. Okay, Cambridge.org. Excellent, okay. you see? This is the way we read information, personal information, right? Personal information. That's it, right? Now, let's go to another practice. Okay, conversation. Listen, please. Page 19, exercise 6, conversation. He's cute. Listen and practice. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? Is he nice? Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. 
She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Good. Now listen again and repeat, please. Listen again and repeat. And practice. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow. He's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? Is he nice? Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Okay, now let's practice this conversation. Uh, Emma is going to be Claudia. And Grecia, you're going to be Jill, right? Are you ready? Yes? What's that? Okay. Okay, I repeat. Claudia is Emma. And Grecia is Jill, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. What's that? Who's that? He's... Who's that? Who's that? See? He's my yeah. brother. Wow. No, 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 He's... wait, Claudia. No, no, come on, Claudia. You're an actress. You are in Hollywood in this moment. So you say, <laughs> wow. Repeat, Claudia. Wow. No, no, no. More, 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 more. Come on. Oh. Wow. Wow. Excellent. <laughs> okay, continue. He's good. He's good. Cute. Cute. He's, cute. Cute. He's, he's cute. Cute. Uh, bonito. Bonito. It's attractive, right? He's cute. Uh. He's cute. He's cute. What's his name? What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh. How old? How old? How old? How old is he? ¿Qué edad tiene, right? How old is he? Uh -huh. he's, he's 21 years old. What's my life? What's, what's, what's he like? What's he like? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo es su personalidad? Uh -huh. What's he like? Is he nice? Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And what's that? Who's, 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 and who's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Thank you very much. Good practice, good practice, right? Now listen again. Listen again. Page 19 practice who's that he's my brother wow he's cute what's his name james we call him jim oh how old is he he's 21 years old what's he like is he nice yes he is and he's very smart too and who's that my sister tammy she's only 12 She's the baby of the family. Okie dokie. Now let's practice again. Uh, can you help me, Karen? Karen, you're going to be Emma. And uh, let me see. Luis, you're going to be Jill, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? 
James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? Is he nice? Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister, Tommy. She's only 20. She's the baby of the family. Good. Thank you very much. Excelentoso, right? But no, it's not 20, it's 12. Uh, sorry, sorry, 12. Así se hace no chambre, Luis, yes. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Now, please, uh, Veronica and Alejandro, right? But before to go to uh, Veronica and Alejandro, listen the last time. Listen. To Page 19, exercise 6. Mute. Listen and practice. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow. He's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? Is he nice? Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Okay, very good. She's the baby of the family. Now, please, uh, Veronica, you are Emma. And Alejandro, you're Jill. Are you ready, guys? One, two, three, action. Who's that? Alejandro? Eh, sí, pero yo soy Jill. Ajá. Uh -huh. Who's that? Say. Casi no soy yo, pero dijo, who's that? Ah, Verónica, ok, no, 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 no la escuché, la verdad. Okay, Verónica, again, repeat, Verónica. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cutie. What's his name? James, we call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's his life? Is he nice? Yes, he is, and he is very small, too. Ah, what's that? My sister, Tammy, she is only 12. She is the baby of the family. Okay, thank you very much. Now, please, Nuria and William. Please, Nuria, you're Emma. And William, you are Jill, right? One, two, three, action. What's that? Who's... Who's? Who's that? He's my brother. Wow. He's good. He's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 20 years old. 21? 21 years old. Ah, si says no Be careful. <laughs> okay. What's he like? Is he nice? Like a question. Yes. Is, he, is he nice? Is he nice? Yes, he is. And he is very smart too. And what's that? Who's that? Who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's continue. Let's continue practice. Numbers and ages, right? Numbers and ages. Remember we practice 11, 12. So here we have more, more practice. Listen. Page 19, exercise 7. Numbers and Ages, Part A. Listen and practice. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, one hundred and one, one hundred one, one hundred and two, one hundred two, one hundred and three, one hundred three. Okay. Very good. Now let's continue. Notice the difference between thirteen and thirty, right? Fourteen and forty, fifteen and fifty, and sixteen and sixty. Listen, please. Page nineteen, exercise seven, part B. Listen and practice. Notice the word stress. Thirteen, thirty, fourteen, forty. Fifteen, fifty, sixteen, sixty. Okay. Now again, thirteen, thirty, fourteen, forty, fifteen, fifty, sixteen, sixty. Right. Again. Part B. Listen and practice. Notice the word stress. Thirteen, thirty, fourteen, forty, fifteen, fifty, sixteen, sixty. Okay. Now listen again and repeat, please. Repeat. Stress. Thirteen, thirty, fourteen, forty, fifteen, fifty, sixteen. Sixty. Okay, very good. The word stress is donde lleva más fuerza, donde lleva el acento, donde lleva más mayor fuerza, fuerza el, la palabra. So you don't say thirteen, no? thirteen. You don't say thirty, thirty, no? thirty. You don't say forty, forty, no? forty, right? Okay, now. Look at the people here, right? How old is he? How old is she? How old are they? Right? Good. Letter A. Uh, how old? I will copy here for you. How old is, is she? Is he? Or are they? How old are they? This if it is plural, right? Letter A, right? So, uh, Claudia, you make the question. And Grecia, you make the answer, right? How old is she? Is that? No, letter A. Or you can say, Claudia, you can say, how old is Helen? How old is Helen? Huh? Or how old is she? The two options, right? Tengo que hacer la pregunta con el nombre please, de la persona. Please, please, please. How old is Helen? Grecia. She is. She is. Eh, sería mi edad o la de. No, 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 no. Helen. no. We're talking about Helen. Oh. Uh -huh. She is. La de Helen. Eh, she is. Eh, sería. 17 
Uh -huh. Six. 76, correct. Good. Now let's go to the next question, right? Uh, let me see. Karen, you make the question to uh, Luis. How? How old? How old are you? No, how old is? Let it be. Let it be. How old is? is... Luis. No, Howard. How old is Howard? Uh, how, how, Howard. Howard. Sorry, sorry. How old? How old is? How old? How old is Howard? Uh -huh, Luis. He is 52 years old. 52? Luis, 52 or no 52? He is 52. Uh -huh. 52 yes. or no 52? 52. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 52. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Now, let's see the next one, right? Uh, we have Veronica and Alejandro, right? Veronica made the question, letter C, Jackie. How old is Jackie? It's... She is? She is... 49. Ah, 49. Very good. Thank you. Now let's go to uh, Veronica. No, Veronica is already finished, right? Uh, Nuria and William. Megan. How old is Megan? She is 23. Okay, very good. And the last one, Luis, you made the question. Luis made the question to Karen, please. Letter E. How old are Tim and Tom? Like a question. How old are Tim and Tom? How old are Tim and Tom? They are? Karen? They are? They are 14. Okay. Tim and Tom is 14 years old. They are 14. Oh, Tim and Tom are 14, right? Okay. Very good. So good practice. Excellent. Now, let's continue with the next practice. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Twenty three. Page twenty three. Okay. Now we're going to practice the colors. Colors. Listen, please. Page twenty three. Exercise two. Colors. Part A. Listen and practice. White. Light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, Dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Okay. Now repeat after me, please. White, light gray. That means gris claro, right? Gray. 
dark gray. That means gris oscuro. Beige. Light brown. Brown. Dark brown. Black. Light brown is café claro. Dark brown is café oscuro. I'm talking about the color, not coffee, right? <laughs> Okay, now repeat us to me, please. Red. Pink. Orange. Yellow. Light green. Green. Dark green. Light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Okay, now let's practice this conversation. Listen and practice, please. Page 23, exercise three, conversation. It's a disaster. Listen and practice. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh, no! All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are these? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. Good. Now listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Ready? Repeat. Page. Listen and practice. Repeat. Great. Our, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait. It is mine. It's a disaster. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are these? Uh... They're mine. Sorry. Okay, now let's practice. Uh, William and Claudia, please. William, you're Pat. Claudia, you're Julie, right? Okay. One, two, three, One, action. Two, three, action. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new gloves? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue. Here's a light blue. Blues. 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 William? Yeah. Okay. No, it's not mine. Wait. 
It is mine. It's a disaster. Oh, oh. No, no. All earth, earth. Colors are light blue. Here's the problem. Is this new blue jeans? Whose jeans are these? Uh, they, they, sorry, sorry. Okay, very good. With echo. Very good. Echo. Echo. <laughs> okay, it's William's uh, microphone, right? That's nice, William. Now, let's go to the last. What time is it? Uh, we almost finished, right? Uh, who's going to stay with me tonight? I guess it's Veronica, right? Veronica, can you stay with me 10 minutes? Extra 10 minutes, please. Yes, yes. Okie dokie. Very good. Now, uh, we're going to practice the last conversation, right? And in this time, um, Luis is going to help me, please. Luis, okay. uh, you and you and Veronica, yes. Uh, Luis, you're Pat, and, and Veronica, you're Julie, right? Go ahead. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my, my new blouse? What color it is? Is it? It's... Sorry? What color is it? What color is it? It's white. It's a light blue blouse. Is it Joe? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh, no. And all clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are these? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. They're mine. They're mine. Sorry. Okay. Very good. Very good. Now, um, we're going to continue with this tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Don't forget to make uh, the platform, right? No se le olvide terminar los ejercicios en la plataforma. Uh, recuérdense que esta es la clase número 9, right? Tenemos que hacer la tarea número 9. Pueden adelantarse si quieren. No hay problema. Pero lo que no podemos es atrasarnos, ¿verdad? Los viernes es el último día para hacer el último ejercicio. Si hay algún ejercicio en el que tengan problemas, pues me dicen en el WhatsApp o aquí en la clase y podemos resolverlo. Yes. No dar copias, solo resolverlo juntos. <risa> Okay, Karen, any question? Tiene alguna pregunta, Karen? About the, the mid, mid their exam. Ah, yes, tomorrow, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Mañana lo haremos también. Uh, yes, tomorrow we're going to make it. At nine. Uh, in class, we're going to make it in class. If you want, you can make it only you, Karen. Only you, but I will go step by step. A B, C, D in the test, right? I explain tomorrow. But I repeat, you can make it by yourself. Pueden hacerlo ustedes solitos si quieren. Pero también lo vamos a hacer en clase, okay? Good? Okay. So, have a good night. God bless you. And uh, let me see. I will stay only with, with Veronica. The rest of you, bye-bye. So long. Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Okay, Veronica, it's a pleasure. Thank uh, you. Okay, um, do you like the class? Yes. Ah, okay, good. Is it difficult or easy? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Difficult or easy? Difficult. Oh, no, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. <difficult. laughs> The number, for example, one, two, three, four. No, come on. <laughs> the alphabet, A, B, C, D. <laughs> okay, do you have any question about any specific topic, eh, Veronica? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta de algún tema que no haya entendido? Something difficult for you? Mm. 
en este momento no me acuerdo. Ah. <ríe> y de todas estas clases, después se, se, se ven un poco más profundas todas. Ya, yeah, sí, sí, ya en el básico 2, pues ya se ve un poquito más, más difícil. Ya el teacher solo les habla en inglés. Yo les hablo de vez en oh. cuando español. ¿va? <ríe> sí, no sigue usted. Normalmente no. No. Ya ha pasado, ya me han pasado al nivel 2. Pero sí, normalmente siempre cambian al maestro. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Sí, lo que me, me cuesta a mí es, es que casi me siento que no tengo vocabulario, entonces a veces. Ah, me no. Bueno, ¿Es para. Un ¿Consejo para eso? Vaya, para vocabulario tengo un, varios consejos. Regálame un segundito aquí. Vamos okay. a... Aquí tengo un listado de consejos que le puedo dar para para mejorar, mejorar el vocabulario, ¿sí? Um, vamos a ver. Listen, number one, right? Eh, cada vez que usted ve una palabra nueva, vaya anotándola en su cuaderno. Solo uh -huh. anótela. No, no, no se preocupe de traducirla, de pronunciarla, no nada. Solo anótela. Si usted ve una palabra ahí nueva, interesante, psh, la anota, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Para eso debe tener un cuadernito a la mano, ¿sí? Es decir, usted no va a copiar toda la clase. No, no, no. Solo no, no. Unas dos que tres palabritas ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, luego, vamos a hacer tres cosas. Cuando ya haya terminado la clase, ¿sí? ¿Sí? Puede hacer lo siguiente. Puede traducirla al español, ¿verdad? Puede intentar, oiga bien, hacer una oración con esa palabra. ¿Sí? Intentarlo. Por ejemplo, eh, la palabra language, right? Eh, I like my language, por ejemplo. Me gusta mi lenguaje. Por decir algo, una oración. Después de eso, eh, este es bien bonito, si usted quiere, ¿verdad? Y se tiene tiempo, por supuesto, haga un dibujito. ¿Sí? Y tiene la palabra ahí, por ejemplo, eh, usted tiene en su cuaderno y dice vocabulary level one, vocabulario del nivel uno. Pone la fecha, ¿sí? La fecha. Y empieza a poner las palabras, ¿verdad? Entonces, deja espacio para cuando termine la clase para traducirla. Y si quiere, ponga un dibujito. Ahí mismo, ¿sí? Vale. Luego, eh, si es posible, ¿verdad? Eh, haga un diagrama y ponga las palabras en grupos. Por ejemplo, si estamos viendo animales, pone los animalitos aquí. Si estamos viendo preposiciones, ponen las preposiciones acá. Si estamos viendo verbos, los verbos allá, en grupos, ponerlos en grupos, ¿sí? Eh, también puede practicar el, dele, la, el deletreo de esas palabras ¿verdad? después de la clase. O sea, recuérdese que todo esto va a ser después que usted ha terminado su clase y empieza a poner la palabra letra por letra, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, word, W-O-R-D, ¿sí? Ok, eh, luego, este, esto sí ya un poco extremo, pero, pero es muy, pero muy práctico y le va a ayudar muchísimo, pero así muchísimo. Hoy tenemos San Google, entonces usted solo uh -huh. se va a San Google y le pone la palabra y a la par le pone meaning, meaning. Eh, así, mire, permítame. Aquí lo tengo. Permítame. Vamos a ver. Pone la palabra, digamos, eh, language. ¿Usted no entiende qué es la palabra language? Y se va a San Google. Y le pone la palabra meaning, significado. Ahí le va a tirar el significado en inglés y la, la pronunciación. Si usted no la entiende, que lo, le recomiendo que intente por lo menos entenderlo, entonces le pone la, in Spanish. Y ahí se lo traduce, ¿verdad? Ahí. No hay para más. Okay. Pero mi consejo es que primero trate de entenderlo en inglés. Uh -huh. Porque usted se tiene que ir acostumbrando a pensar en inglés. No ir traduciendo todo, ¿no? Uh -huh. Porque si usted va traduciendo todo, pues, va a costar muchísimo aprender inglés. Lo va a aprender algún día, pero con mucha dificultad, ¿verdad? En cambio, si usted ya se va formando la idea, 
eh, es como esta clase, o sea, si yo solo les hablo español, ¿en qué vamos a estar, verdad? Sí. Entonces les, les estoy hablando un 90% en inglés, debería ser 100%, pero para algunos ejercicios, para no, me, no anden tan extraviados, pues. Lo sí, ajá, porque a, al principio, este, yo dije básico, pero no lo siento tan básico. Ah, no. Ajá. Súper básico, sí, sí que era... español. No, usted, claro, usted. Usted viene enojada de este ticho solo en inglés, no habría, porque está hablando español. Digo. No, sí está bien, solamente que cabal está uno como más, este, tiene que ponerse más las pilas. Pues. Sí, sí, correcto, uh -huh. sí. Bueno, eso sería con relación a los consejos para el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Este, uh -huh. Recuérdese que usted ha adquirido un compromiso con el inglés. Entonces, usted debe dedicarle al menos unos 15 minutos diarios, mínimo, mínimo, 15 minutos diarios, ¿verdad?, al inglés. Puede usted practicar eh, listening, eh, reading, puede practicar con, con música, puede practicar con vocabulario, con gramática. Usted escoja un tema en especial. Eh, yo, por ejemplo, en este curso les he estado mandando un video diario. Uh -huh, sí. Sí, eh, los lunes, por ejemplo, les, les tiro un video de vocabulario. Los martes de gramática, los miércoles de escuchar, ¿verdad? Usted escucha una historia y responde ciertas preguntas. Los, los jueves, hoy les puse una canción que es, eh, se llama, eh, una canción de Peter Frampton. Bueno, una, una canción. Y los días viernes les estoy mandando un libro, un audiolibro, que usted puede leer y practicar, ¿verdad? Aparte de eso, usted puede escuchar músicas en YouTube, Spotify, cualquier eh, aplicación que usted tenga, ahí, está, ahí aparece la letra, ¿verdad? Si tiene Netflix, HBO, Disney, lo que usted tenga, pues, puede poner las películas en inglés. Le recomiendo que vea solo muñequitos. No vaya a ver películas de adultos, solo muñequitos. <risa> okay. Sí, porque ahorita usted, perdone que lo diga en inglés, usted es una bebé, ¿no? Entonces, sí, sí así es que lo básico, ¿no? Si usted quiere entender bien, pues póngale subtítulos, pero en inglés. En el, en el mismo nada idioma. en español, nada en español, mm. solo en inglés. Si usted semanalmente, oiga bien, semanalmente se aprende una canción y ve una película en inglés, de aquí a cuatro meses me va a contar a decir, ese teacher, ¿por qué no hablaba en español? En inglés debería haber hablado todo el tiempo, yo no entiendo él. <risa> Sí, es verdad, es porque uno se va haciendo familiar con el vocabulario, los sonidos, la estructura, y usted va, va viendo eh, inconscientemente o conscientemente usted va adquiriendo la estructura. En inglés le llamamos la syntax, la sintaxis, que es el orden lógico de las palabras, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y luego, pues, una de las cosas que más cuesta es escuchar, ¿no? Hemos hecho sí, algunos claro. ejercicios de escuchar y usted ve que, son sencillos, pues, pero eso ayuda bastante. Entonces, la música y las... ¿Y cómo se llaman las películas? Ah, le van a ayudar muchísimo. Ayuda bastante. Sí. Especialmente porque fíjese que la, la, la música llega a una parte de su cerebro que, que ahí se queda, es permanente. Sí, eso, eso es cierto. Usted, usted puede olvidar esta clase ahora, pero mañana, si yo le pongo una canción ahora, por ejemplo, mañana se va a acordar solo de la canción. Uh -huh. y la van a andar cantando ahí. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Es por eso, porque la música se queda más. Y... Se queda más ah. Correcto. Y con respecto a los a las películas, usted se va acostumbrando a, 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 a tener la idea en su cabeza de inglés y no ir traduciendo. ¿no? Claro que al principio uno quisiera entenderlo y ir traduciendo todo, pero a medida que usted va a ir avanzando, va a ver que ya no va a haber necesidad de traducirlo todo todo al menos. Sí, yo estaba usando una aplicación y este pusieron una frase, you are great. You are great. Sí, no se me olvidó ni lo que significa ah, ni nada. Okay. Entonces sí siento que sí funciona. A veces lo que me pasa es que la voy escuchando, por ejemplo, en el bus y todo, pero ya a la hora de pronunciarla es lo que me cuesta porque en la mente sí la pronuncio como es. Pero ya y en la... la hora de articular ya es otra cosa. Pero sigue haciéndolo. Es que es, no crea que al principio ya lo vas a pronunciar exactamente ya como que usted es nativo de Estados Unidos. No, ahí uh -huh. sigue haciéndolo, sigue lo practicando. Okay. ok, 
Verónica, it was a pleasure. Ha sido un placer estar estos 10 minutitos con usted. Me too. Ok. I hope to see you tomorrow. Espero verlo mañana yeah. y pues ahí estamos con la participación y todo, ¿verdad? Thank Have you. a good night. God bless. Good night. <laughs> Bye.